time, motion, gravity, and electric charge are not separate things at all? What if they all come from one simple process, the way light and matter interact? In quantum atom theory, time does not exist first. Time appears when a photon interacts with an electron. Every absorption or emission of light is an event. Something changes, energy shifts, and the future becomes slightly more decided. Because quantum events are probabilistic, the future is not fixed. Time is the record of these interactions. A history written one photon at a time. Between every cause and every effect, there is a photon-electron coupling. This coupling forms a tiny sphere of possibility. In quantum physics, this sphere is called a block sphere. A qubit is not just information, it is geometry. A point on the surface of the sphere represents a fully coherent quantum state, defined by both probability and phase. Photon polarization and electron spin share this same spherical geometry. Light and matter are not separate substances. They are two expressions of the same underlying process. Measurement is interaction. When a quantum system interacts with its environment, symmetry is broken. Information leaks outward. The block vector shrinks inward. Coherence becomes entropy. As quantum possibilities collapse into classical facts, time moves forward. Causality, uncertainty, and the arrow of time emerge, not from forces, but from geometry with a probabilistic future. Now consider motion. If a system's phase is balanced, nothing needs to change. An object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion stays in motion. This is inertia. Changing motion means rephasing many interactions at once. The more matter something has, the harder it is to change its rhythm. That resistance is mass. Gravity emerges in a similar way. Every object shapes the surrounding phase geometry through spherical wave interactions. When two objects are near each other, their phase structures overlap. Phase gradients form, and the system naturally evolves toward balance. Objects fall not because they are pulled, but because phase geometry smooths itself. Electric charge is also geometric. Positive charge corresponds to outward, convex phase curvature. Negative charge corresponds to inward, concave phase curvature. Opposite curvatures fit together. They attract. Like curvatures clash, they repel. Nothing is deciding this. It is simply geometry. So in quantum atom theory, forces are not fundamental. They are emergent. Time comes from interaction. Inertia comes from phase resistance. Gravity comes from phase redistribution. Charge comes from phase orientation. The universe is not made of things pushing on things. It is made of waves, trying to stay in step as the future unfolds.